Hey guys, Boomer here, uh, getting out a little bit later of a video today. Um, I don't have uh, a ton of time today, so I'm just going to kind of quickly go over it. Um, there were uh, two trades that happened that I saw that happened later in the day. I did trade a little bit longer as I have been for, I mean, a while now because, I mean, to be honest, the market just isn't giving us that many opportunities. So you kind of have to take advantage of uh, trading, not take advantage, but you kind of have to trade a little bit longer and then take advantage of the time. Um, so I did get two trades and I'll show you what I saw. I'll go run through this real quick. Um, initially, we just had a downtrend working. So that's uh, roughly midnight. Um, I am trading the ES 2000 tick chart in the central time zone. Um, let me, actually, I don't need to make this that much different. Here we go. So we're, uh, we're definitely working our way down here. We're not sure. Um, as it comes to the overnight low, if we're going to bounce, and it looks like at the time that we're going to bounce. So right in here, I'm definitely looking for an opportunity to go long. I just don't get it. And then from here, we just have a ton of consolidation. There's really nothing going on. I mean, you could have if you wanted to. If you come right here, you take that first entry, second entry long, but you're going right into consolidation. Um and you, you would have had enough for a uh, eight tick, I believe. Uh, it would have been close. It would have been really close. But um, that's not a go for me. That's just consolidation. So and it's you're going right into the top there. So I I'm I didn't like anything about that trade. Um, I didn't take the trade. Uh, just so everybody knows. Uh, but anyway, so we get through all this consolidation here, and then we work our way down. And here's an interesting setup. So come back up, hit that trend line again, make a first entry, second entry short, except we don't get a tick above there. Um, I know some of you took this trade, and this is not a bad trade, um, even though the signal bar didn't quite meet its criteria. The reason I'm not a fan of this trade at the moment is because I feel like this might be a failed breakout and put a price push right above there, um, the overnight low, and it pushed right at this time, pushed right above the overnight low and through the 21 EMA. So I am not um, looking to take this this trade. Uh, this didn't even close below the overnight low. I, I'm good. I'm passing on that trade. Uh, but here we had an interesting setup as well. There's a first entry, second entry short. We're well under the 21 EMA and the overnight low. This is a good trade, but you don't really have room. A way to play this, I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. A way to play this is, um, and I know Mac does this. I don't play this this way, but you're welcome to. So you have, an, you have a uh, engulfing bar here. You could set your order one tick here below this low on the engulfing bar and then let it ride so you have enough room. I'm not, I don't do that personally, but I'm just telling you if you were looking for another way to get in a trade if things were slow, that would definitely be a way to do it on this engulfing uh, bearish bar. And that would be a second entry short. Um, but this is just too big. Um, I tried to get in this trade. I dropped. Uh, I dropped a limit order. I think it was like three ticks or four ticks up, and I just didn't. I didn't get filled um, to get enough room here. So anyway, I just let you know that I did try to get into that trade. Uh, it just didn't work out. So at this point, um, patience is the name of the game, and uh, we have a little as as the downtrend happens. Now we have a little turn of events here, and we're kind of coming back up. Um, I would have still looked. I I personally would have taken a long here because we're above the overnight high. I know we're at the two hundred EMA but we're above the uh, overnight high, but it just didn't work itself out. And then we just kind of, that 200 EMA is definitely resisting. So then I, um, I'm i definitely uh, at this point only looking for a trade. I'm going short and then we do break through. So there you go. Um, now definitely looking for longs and kind uh, of kind of a rangy day uh, because even though we're in a downtrend, so we break through, now we're coming straight back down. And uh, as we get under the 200 EMA, I'm starting to look for shorts again. I don't find anything. You got a first entry, second entry short, but you have a terrible signal bar. So that's a no-go. Or you got a first entry, second entry short, another terrible signal bar. So that's a no-go. Um, and then finally make our low. And um, if you actually look at what was going on within the context, this was a break of this trend line right here. See that? And this was the new low that was created. So price action definitely uh, played itself out. There's no doubt about it there. Um, it just took a little bit of time. Um, it just took a little time to, to play out. But uh, one of the trades that was uh, really, really tempting 
that I just wasn't sure at the time, but in hindsight, I'm kind of kicking myself a little bit, uh, was this, this bar right here was this signal bar right here was really, really nice. And if you look at it within context, you have a first entry long, second entry long, and you have a new high. And then from that new high, you have a first entry long, second entry long failure. Um, I didn't see it develop at the time. It was just too congested. Um, but in hindsight, looking at it, that wouldn't have been a bad trade. Uh, really would not have been a bad trade here with that signal bar here. Because um, you got to re reset the count. Okay, first entry, second entry long. Reset first entry, second entry long. Failure. And it would have been a really nice trade. But um, again, I didn't catch that as it was happening. It was just too congested for me. So even I missed trades too, um, periodically. But that, I'll mark it so you guys can see it. That would have been a, a good trade for you to consider taking if you were if you caught it as it was happening. So I still have no trades at this point. Um, price comes back, retest the low. And then something that I don't always do, um, but I kind of make a mental note of where the high of the day is. Here's the high of the day. Just I'm not going to go all the way through, but I'll come just like this here. Right there. Okay, so there's the high of the day. I'm just going across there. And then you can see what actually ends up being here, but you couldn't tell at the time. This is a failed breakout of the high of the day. But at the time, you couldn't see that happening. So what you really have is a new high, first entry, second entry long. And I took 10 ticks on this trade. Uh, so this was a this was a winner uh, for me. But uh, the context at this point is that I'm, I'm still above the 21 EMA. Um, and this bar right here that I got in on, the signal bar, is above the high of the day. So I'm playing this kind of like an overnight high in some respects, but... You have to look and see what happens at the 21 EMA, and you have to look at what happens at the uh, high of the day or the overnight high. And then from there, we just went right back through it, came back, and then came right above it. I mean, to me, I'm expecting price to still come back up to the highs there. It didn't quite make it, but it gave us enough for a scalp. Um, but then as you see, as it didn't make there, and then price comes back down, you kind of seen what we had there. Uh, we had a failed breakout. Um, so that was a failed breakout. So now I'm turning my bias to shorts, even though we're not under the 200 EMA. Um, but overall, we're definitely in more of a downtrend anyway today than we are an uptrend. So there you have your, this is a confusing one. So follow along with me. I'll even make it, you have a lot of congestion, but what you have here is a nice little trap and it ends up being a second entry short as well. Um, okay. So you can kind of see there, that's kind of your line across. Um, you have your first entry but then you never get a second entry. See that, that's a really nice bearish bar, but you don't get a second entry. And I actually had my, uh, my limit one tick below, never got filled. And then you come back up and then you have a trap. Look at that trap. And then you put your order one tick below there. And that is a winner. So uh, that was a little bit more of a B trade because of all this uh, support right here. Um, but you're just making railroad tracks here. And uh, with that right here being a trap, you are trapping a ton of longs and then you're going the other direction. Um, so, I mean, I'm, I'm okay with that trade. It is definitely a second entry short, but more importantly than a second entry short at this point is it was, it was a trap uh, for longs. And then after that trade, I got my scalp and I was out. So that was my day. Again, not, I did not get a runner today. Again, I've kind of uh, kind of had a bad streak with getting runners, but I got two scalps and I was done with the day. So ultimately, I can't complain. Uh, I got a 10 ticker and an 8 ticker. So um, I keep making money. So I am not going to not going to complain about that at all. But um, anyway, that is all I got. Oops, doing the wrong one there. That is all I got, guys. Um, so I will uh, call it a night. Boomers out.